Review time. Well, as you may or may not know, breakfast is my favourite meal of the day. There's nothing quite like the smell of coffee brewing, the sound of the espresso machine fizzing. Wait, we have an espresso machine? (laughs) Wait, I thought you were going to say a fart in the morning (laughs) and the prospect of making that first incision in the top of my eggs, Benny, with the excitement of a Vietnamese plastic surgeon about to perform a nose job on a wannabe starlet. That, let's be honest, will probably end up looking messier than my half-eaten eggs benedict itself moist (laughs) is is that right is that my allowed to say that moist but breakfast is also that one meal (laughs) where if you're meeting up with family or friends to eat out it's really the only one where you don't feel guilty Mm. leaving early having breaking out means you can always make up excuses like if you're in australia for example i gotta go and mow the lawn before the game starts or if you live in the bubble in Taldin, you might say, the pool boy's coming at 11, got to let him in my back gate. Yeah. Or if you're a fake English teacher, I hear there are a few of those about, you could use this old chestnut. Sorry, got to do a visa run. See ya. So there are a lot of reasons to love breakfast, as there are a lot of reasons to love having it at Cafe Marcel in Taldin. Oh, the bubble. Oh, the yes, bubble. the bubble, Andy. It's the bubble. Cafe Marcel is part of the Marcel Restaurants Group, if I can say that, with Marcel Burger being their first shop, which I reckon opened around five years ago on Calmet Street in District 1. No, I think it was on, um, like, near Namki Koinya. Oh, no, well, that's what I was about to say next. Then oh. they opened Cafe Marcel initially on oh, the Cafe, Street right. in District 1. That's Not right. too long before the pandemic hit from memory. Mm. When the pandemic did hit, they quickly packed up and moved to Taldin, Yeah, which was a great move as it turned out. Yep. On their website, they say, we chose the name Marcel because it evokes the older generation, maybe a grandfather or grandmother, that would gather the whole family on a Sunday lunch to share some traditional dishes just coming out of the oven. Uh, I thought it was like Marcel Marceau, you know, like the, the mime. And Marcel Restaurants aims at creating those moments. We operate story-driven concepts, taking roots in France, but opened to the world. We rely on authenticity, savoir-faire. Whoa. Anyone? Uh, And promote modernity. We strive for excellence, but we do it in a warm, casual, and fun atmosphere. All right. Too too many complex uh, (laughs) vocabularies. Savoir-faire. So, so first impressions mm. of the place. Well, disclaimer, I'd eaten here before, but let me highlight a few things. Mm. The parking guy, super friendly and polite. The parking and security guys are often the customer's first contact yep. and experience yep. with a venue. And if it sucks, sometimes it can set the tone for a shitty experience all yeah. round. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. Or at the very least, the staff inside have to work extra hard to swing that mood mm. back, especially if a cranky Karen walks through the door. Oh, yeah, in Taldian, that's <laughs> common, right? <laughs> and Listeners, actually, is that true? <laughs> Let us know. And actually, the parking guys at Cafe Marcel, they actually put like... Um, you know those yeah, shade reflector, oh, reflector cool. things yeah. for the bike so it yeah. doesn't get hot? Yep. So I think that's 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 yeah, really good, good service. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cafe Marcel is cramped. You walk in, the cash register is immediately on your left when you mm. walk in. Then there's the open kitchen, which reminds me of the galley on below deck mel. <laughs> <laughs> Barely yeah, room right. to swing a cat. And they also seat customers along the breakfast bar thing. Perhaps up to seven to eight adults can swe- squeeze in along there. Mm-hmm. Sorry, um, hang on. Uh, maybe six fat <laughs> Western adults <laughs> and a half space for Wait, we nanny. can't say fat because uh, okay. today's world, they, they get all upset. Well, ah. I can because I'm one of them. No, <laughs> it's... it's uh, what's Isn't it? it okay? It's obese, right? No, you can't. Oh. You, what, what's the what's the correct kind oh. way of oh. saying PC way of saying fat? Pretty soon, Google is actually going to autocorrect for politically correct words. Did you know that? No. Yeah, Google is going to come out w- while you're typing on a Google Doc or something. It's going to autocorrect if you okay. Well, type after this, something. we'll type in so fat. fat? See yeah. what happens. Fat. Yeah. Would it be chubs? Would it be? <laughs> bang, 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 anyway, bang. it is the, pokey though. It, it is in the main dining space. I reckon they could squeeze in maybe another twenty or so. Mm. Um, but don't bother bringing pushes, prams, bouncinets, or whatever because they're no. just. Eight. 
the space. I saw on their Instagram stories, there's actually customers who bring in pets like a dog. So, you know. It, they sit outside though? Was it no, I think no, it was inside? a photo inside with a dog mm. on the floor. So, I yeah. I could say something, but I'm not. Uh, okay. Put it this way. It's definitely a place you don't want to be in. Uh, if you run into your lover with your and you're with your partner and kids, uh, nor is it a place if you're badly hungover. Oh, but the food is really good if you are hungover. No, but we're, we're just talking about the space, though, because uh, okay. it's very closed in, low ceiling, people, lots of bodies do you, everywhere. Do you smell like the food, though? Because you said there was no. an open kitchen, right? No. Oh, that's good. Because I was sitting at the bar. Mel's got a nose for that. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, good. my clothes were fine. Which, all in all, makes the ambiance a tad stifling. Mm. You got to say in a French accent, though. Uh, I think it's ambiance. 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 Yeah. Uh, Because it's so cramped, it feels like the place could explode at any moment. It's a tinderbox ready to ignite. You know, one of those, hey, I ordered my salted caramel iced coffee made with salted caramel syrup, condensed milk, coconut milk and whipping cream 15 minutes ago, but it isn't here kind of moments. No, but their their service is actually fast. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But if it wasn't, I think the place could blow up. Or uh, if you elbow your mama berry smoothie onto the floor made with blueberries, bananas, vanilla, (laughs) lime juice and milk. What a f***ing disaster and waste of 120,000 dom. As Plus VAT. <laughs> yeah. As Mench and Tip. Hey, I tip, tip. Yeah. You don't, but anyway. Oh, no, oh, I do. As oh, you just went full X. Ex- You're the reason why everything costs so much. Low blow. Hey, this is my review. As <laughs> mentioned earlier in the show, though, I took on my first egg slut, a newcomer to the menu. Did you feel dirty? Uh, before, uh, before or after? Um, before I describe what it is, I've got to say that it was such a relief to be able to say slut in public again and not get cancelled for it. It just rolls off the tongue nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, I remember back in the day, you can say the word like slut and, yeah. and uh, everyone would be like, ah, oh, you're so disgusting. But then everyone would be cool. Well, I wouldn't say everyone. Yeah. Because but not then, everyone's gonna be cool. You know, when you this is like a, a brunch place, right? Yeah. But when you go to a bar in the evening, you can say, Can I get a blowjob? Yeah. <laughs> so what's the difference? <laughs> right, right. All right, we'll talk about that another time. I've got right. to finish this. Um <laughs> I could see a problem with the naming of this dish though. If someone says it out a bit too loud, uh, you never know. A bunch of women might look up and that could be embarrassing. Mm. Anyway, the egg slut consists of creamy scrambled eggs. Uh, which the lap of my shorts can attest to. (laughs) Mixed in that is some cheddar cheese, which I can't really remember tasting much of, but that's fine. I don't like my eggs too cheesy, especially if they're creamy. Full cream. (laughs) What are we reviewing here? Food porn. Uh, There's also what they call house cured ham that comes with it, but only some small pieces. And I noticed they made sure they were poking out the sides to give that illusion, Mm, you know, that there's plenty in there. Uh, It could have done with more bacon, but hey, what doesn't? And all of this was deliciously encased in one of Marcel's beautiful little brioche buns that they're known for. Could have been a bit bigger because I murdered it, but for 140,000 dom, what's that? About seven US? Sure, could be could be 22 yeah, cents. Yeah, you should yeah. ask up, you should ask uh, up, 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 what's yeah, his name? Upton. Upton. No, yeah. Upton. no, is it yeah. CR3? Yeah, no, no Upton. 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 Uh, I think for seven bucks, it's worth it, plus a latte for 80,000. Mm-hmm. Uh, so all up 220,000. You know, for 220,000, you can take someone for a good time, like outside of the bubble. And it will just pay for everyone. Wow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but but Andy's was, good times <laughs> for under two hundred and twenty thousand. No, it's about value. It's about value. That's how I say it. Wow. Uh, and just let me finish before we go on. Um, the service, the service was good. No issues there. So out of five, I'll give it a four. But I guess the question is, is it worth going over to D two four? Not during the wet season for mm-hmm. me. But but if I, it depends on who I am with. Ooh. And then, you know, because sometimes they're like, oh my God, like I want something like Western. Uh, you, might, you might spend 200. And I'll yeah. be like, oh, okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Okay. But Andy, so you go normally, with a hat on, your hair covering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Normally, Andy, I try not to get. I, I try not to get like noticed by people in the. You know. In the oh, room. that's Andy from the Bureau podcast. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that that troll? Is that that D two <laughs> troll? But you don't go to District Two often. Like we don't go to District Two often. Because it's far. Well, yeah. our motorbike doesn't really no. get that far. So, doesn't like, like it. it is worth the trip, but that's not the only thing we do in, yep. in District 2. Yeah, I feel like yeah. if you go to District, like if you, anyone who lives outside District 2, mm-hmm. if you go into District 2, you kind of have to do a few things yes. at the same time to make yeah. it worthwhile. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like paying cover charge at a club. You want to make sure <laughs> you want to hit yeah, a couple value. of drinks. Yeah, yep. you want to hit yeah. a couple of drinks before you head out. That's yep. how I kind of see it. Yeah. Okay, so that's my review for uh, Cafe Marcel in District District to go and check it out. If By the way, I'll, 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 I'll go. I'll go to Cafe next, next time. time. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go have a slut with you. I'll yeah. be like, "Oi, right. slut! What slut? Right. Let's have a slut." I've moved on. Actually, really? I've already had my. I've gone through my. <laughs> ex- don't don't you want another slut? Moved on. You don't want two sluts? Uh, I could, I could down two yeah. easily. They're they're that size. Wow. So yeah. Anyway, uh, if there's anything or anywhere you think we should review, let us know. 